Yay, you finished your Google Classroom. Now it's time to take a screenshot and upload to Google Drive and copy that URL into that form. So, first of all, I'm clicked on my demo Google Classroom account. How do you make a screenshot within your Mac? Well, let's learn that. You will find the Shift button. So hold the Shift button down and the Command button. So you've got both keys down, Shift and Command. Command is located by your spacebar. Then you will see the 4 button, the number 4 button. Again, I still continue to have the shift and the command button down, and now I'm going to hit 4. You probably can't see it right now, but I'm going to move it. I have a compass-looking icon right here. So I want to take a screenshot of this entire screen. I'm going to hold down with my trackpad and highlight the entire Google Classroom page. You heard the, the can, uh, my computer make that picture snap um, picture photo um, noise. So now you know the picture is taken and you saw what it was highlighted. Easy enough. Again, Shift Command 4. Then you're going to go to your drive. So you can click on here, open a new tab if you don't already have it. Most of you probably will go to your Gmail and that's fine. But if not, you can open just a normal tab and you're looking for the grid icon and you're going to go to your drive. Once you go to your drive, you are then going to upload this file and maybe some of you have not done this before but this is a great opportunity to learn that as well so you're going to go ahead and click on the new button if you're in the new drive it might say create if you're in the old drive if you're in the new drive you're going to click on new and we're going to upload a file when you take a screenshot it automatically goes to your desktop so some of you might have it sort of different on your desktop some of you, if I click on the name icon, it's probably sorted this way and it's going to be all the way down to the very bottom under screenshot and you'll look at the date and the time that it was selected. What I lots of times do is I click on date modified, especially with all the screenshots I take and it helps especially with your downloads folder as well. But you'll see the most recent file I just did was a screenshot that I just took at 1.25 p.m. So now I'm going to click on that screenshot and I'm going to click on open. And you'll notice here at the bottom right hand side that screenshot is being uploaded. You can then go ahead and click locate if you want or you can find it under your documents but you're going to look for that screenshot. Once you've done that, you need to share it correctly because if you share and copy this URL right now, you might have the wrong URL. First of all, many of you will just select this one, which is incorrect. You might want to click on Get Link. That's great, but have I shared it yet? I won't be able to get view that even though you click that link. You'll see there's a share icon. I have the screenshot highlighted, so I'm going to click on, oh, excuse me, guys. I'm going to click on the Share button. I can do one or many things. I could just type in Jay Fincel and share it like that and give me edit rights. Nah, but let's actually learn how to make it anyone the link. So I'm going to click on get shareable link. Now it says anyone from Atlanta Community School District can view this, which is fine. But what other options do I have? I could then go to the more button. Great, they have one anyone with a link. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that option and hit save. Now a pop-up window will appear and you can verify. I could copy this link, couldn't I? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit Command C. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with that shortcut, you can go up to Edit and Copy. Now, part of your um, assessments, you need to hit Done, excuse me, is to copy that URL in that Google Classroom form. So let me go to that live form that's on the bottom of your conclusion page and you're just going to then paste that URL in there. Shortcut for paste is command V is in Velcro. V is in Velcro. If you don't feel comfortable with that, go to edit, paste. And you are done. I hope you learned something new. Thank you.